Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Skyrim blind playthrough. Welcome back to episode number 90. The big 9 0. We're in our ninth decade of playing this game. Nah, just our, our ninth set of 10 episodes of playing this game. It's early in the morning. I got some coffee. I got a couple hours of Skyrim ahead of me. Ooh, feeling good. I'm feeling ready. I hope you're feeling ready as well. Um, In the last episode, so we're back in Skyrim now. We're, I was going to say that we're in the Dragonborn DLC, but we're not. I mean, we are, but we're not. We're not We're not in Morrowind right now. We're not in Soul's Time. Um, we're currently in the, like, complete northwest part of the map in Ragenvald. You know, looking for, looking for uh, Briar Hearts. We, the, we do need Briar Hearts for, where is it? Right here um for the thing that we're doing on soul's time and those are apparently over in the forsworn area of the map which is the upper northwest so anyways we're here we happen to stumble upon ragenvald there was a dude here um what's his name i don't remember what his name was but we fucked him up anyways you know he didn't stand a chance where was he was he up here and then i looted a little bit and then we got a key we got a key. What is the name of the key? Uh, so we're going to continue exploring and just until we can get... Uh, whatever it is. It was like an S, right? Did, did it start with an S? Am I dumb? Mm, uh, uh, I really probably... Should have a better memory. Is it this one? Maybe it's Borkle's key. I got no idea. We're gonna we're gonna look around though. I know I know vaguely where we haven't been, so it's fine. <laughs> Maybe if I drink more coffee, I'll remember. Um, potion of minor magica. We got a couple things like this. We got one on the other side to look at as well. A couple places we haven't been yet. Dang, there's really nothing here. All right, cool. Well, from there, uh, I'm just going to triple double check that we... Oh, yeah, we had him trapped up here. So his body would be up here. His name's like Skon... Sarek. He was a, he was a guardian. Sarek. I'm stuck on something. Let's just double check. We looted the chest. Yes, there's a glass blow. Glass bow I decided not to take. All right. Is there anything to do with this? There was a skull on top of it, which is the thing that we took. That's probably why. It wasn't a skull. It was just or a key. It was just a, a an item. Started with an S. Sarek. Let's take a look. Skull key. It's got a key in the name. What do you know? So I wonder what it's good for. Because I honestly thought we covered everything else on the way in. Hmm. Okay, we have the temple there. Let's just double check this place before we get out of here. After this, I want to go find some Briar Hearts, but... This is the door to the bottom. Sure, sure. We killed dudes in here. This is booby-trapped. No boobies. Um... So, maybe we should go through hey, that temple. Watch it. So, sorry, Adelaide, my bad. Maybe we should go through the temple. I don't know. Let's try it. I thought we'd already been inside of the temple, uh, but maybe not. Quick save. I think it'll auto save when we walk through a door like that anyways, but... Ah, we had not been this way. Okay, because that's a door. Okay, so this is the way out. Nothing in here, though. So it's the way out. But... What is this key good for?
You know? This door is barred from the other side. Okay. So there's wings to this. If I remember correctly... Maybe not. I thought we'd been here. Okay. Now I'm fully truly lost. It's been a while since I've been fully truly lost in uh, one of these things again. The canal. I think we've been there. Let's try it. This place is enormous. Generally, I feel okay about my sense of direction. Um, we have an inside joke on stream about how I claim to have... Claim to have a better sense of direction than my wife. She plays on stream with me uh, a lot. And then the minute one of us claims to have a better sense of direction, we're inevitably the one who gets lost. Oh, there's one up top too. I'm going to kill this guy first. Nope, that should have hit him. I think I hit Adelaide with it. Why isn't it catching him on fire? Hey. Why isn't it catching you on fire? Does it need charged again? Probably needs charged. There you are. Hmm. All right, cool. Let's just fuck him up. If it's not catching him on fire, it's way less cool, you know? Ooh! Nice block. Easy. Easy money. We've definitely never been here before. Let's see where this goes. The canal, huh? This place is enormous. I just accidentally <laughs> slashed that dead body. Listen, I really don't like that dead body, apparently. I kind of want to get in the water. But, oh man, we're exper I'm experimenting today by leaving this always happens. It goes in cycles. I'm leaving one of the dogs out of uh, out of his crate. The puppy. The puppy who is now a, a year old and barely a puppy anymore. I'm leaving him out of his crate. Why is this music going so fucking hard? Shit! I'm over here talking about boring stuff like my puppy in uh, games like Shower in the Water of the Ragnvald Canal. Bathe in the blood of your enemies. Anyways, I'm leaving him out of his crate um, during recording, which usually he is, like, not exactly to be trusted. I had at least how's it going down there uh, with all of that, but can you? Okay, you can walk through that. Weird. I was like, why can't I walk through this? Um. So we'll see if that. We'll see how long that continues for. He's currently bugging the other dog downstairs. I can hear it. I am utterly lost. There's definitely pieces that I've missed along the way here. But it's fine. What's that? There's something glowing over there. What the fuck was that? Also, there's dead boys here. Did we kill these dead boys? There's another skull. Oh my god. There's another one. Another one. Quick save. And let's take it. Love it. Love it. Please light him on fire. Okay. Uh, I think I have determined that it needs recharged. Let's do that real quick. Let's see if we can do it. Charge it. Now it should light him on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, okay, chill, chill. Uh, let's hit him with a little marked for death action. Oh, I don't know if I hit both of them. Restless Draugr? You should maybe... You should maybe rest forever, frankly, my friend. Let me run around the edge a little bit. Do a little bit of kiting. Get that heals back up. Fuck you up. Adelaisa, where you at? Adelaisa, I'm over here fighting for my life. <laughs> Why won't you help me? Maybe she's down there like fucking up Torsten or whatever. Oh, 
Oh, maybe she... Nope. I thought maybe she was. Tree! Oh, I whiffed the block, kind of. That was interesting. Uh, I kind of whiffed the block there. <gasps> oh, God. Batty. Oh, no. Batty. All right. All right. First off. First off, stop that. Stop. Stop. Now get out of here. Hit this guardian. Or this, this thingy, whatever it is. Also, I need to heal. Also, quick save. Jump over here. Do some expert dodging real quick. You can't even handle me right now. You cannot even handle me right now. Light you on fire real quick while I run. Poke your head around. Poke your head around. Do it. I dare you. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go! Easy shit. He didn't have anything inside of his... Okay. So here's the real question. Here, here's the thing that's, that's making me question this a little bit. They say key on them. But grabbing them off of the pedestal releases a pressure plate and therefore opens up the tomb. And I apparently unlocked the sarcophagi, which was not even a thing that I knew that I was supposed to do. Is it a miscellany? Unlock the sarcophagus. What I should probably do then is do this and see where it takes me. Um, so that's cool. Uh, oh, what's up, Adelisa? How you doing? Going right over there? Are there more? Now that there were two, there's probably at least three, right? I don't know. I got all these questions. All these questions. We'll figure it out as we go, though. I'm just here for the adventure, you know? Here for the adventure of it all. I think this was just a tomb up here. Yeah. All right. What's the hurry? What's the hurry? The good people of of the of the YouTube series want to see as much an entertaining Skyrim as possible. The hurry is just that I want to deliver it to them if possible. You know, I want to, I want to satiate their uh, their needs. You know, I got limited time per day, but but, and, and so do they, and and I just want to give them, I just want to give them good good Skyrim. You know. <gasps> I need more coffee, or I walk over this fucking thing. All right, so what do you think this does? Sweet. Can I turn it off by hitting it again? Nope. I should have probably just walked around it, you know? Quick save. <laughs> it's just going to keep happening. Oh, that one hit me. There we go. I turned it off. I turned it off. Come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. All right, let's see what else we got over here. Give me that two times damage for sneaky sneak attack. I'm a sucker for it. He's got no idea. Yep. Oh my God, that lit him up. This bow, man. I'm so attracted to this bow. Okay, so now we're back in the ca in the canal. We're just above it. Interesting. Ooh, vigorous healing, petty soul gem, unlockable chest. Easy. Good thing I spent those points on a uh, on lock picking early on in this game, right? I think we're all in agreement that that was the wisest choice I've ever made in this in uh, in Skyrim, right? Was was uh Yeah, was was spending points on lock picking uh tree on Skyrim. Okay. Arrow is pointing me in here. Let's see where this goes. Sometimes the quest arrows, I'll be honest with you. They make no sense to me. They'll like point you through a door and then point you back through the same door. Bar door. Okay. This is progress. I think this is where we were earlier. Um, arrow tells me that direction. 
Right, that thingy right there. Do I put the, the keys on it? I mean, okay. We haven't been here before. Oh, shit. I thought we had been here before. Oh, my God. I'm turned around. This is what happened. I recorded one episode longer than I should have last time. And that meant that I... Uh, I kind of got into the middle of this place and had to stop recording. And that was just yesterday. But my memory <laughs> sucks, apparently. I couldn't remember where I was going. Um... All right, fuck it. Let's go. You know, if I know anything about this, uh, this, this place we are, if I activate this shit, this guy's gonna wake up and fuck me up. <gasps> Wait a second. You know what that is, right? Give me your mask. I know what that is. I know what that is. Let's go. All right. I've been finding potions in these things, so I should probably do that. Just search for some quick healing potions. No healing potion. Okay. What's up here, by the way? Chest. More chest. Okay. All right, my friend. Activate sarcophagi, huh? Ow. Oh. Okay. Are there four slots or two? Let's go. There are only two slots. Activate. Oh, my God. Otar the Mad. My friend. Catch you on fire, bitches. Let's go. Uh, the other thing I would like to do real quick is hit you with March for Death. Don't hit Adelisa. Awesome. Listen, Adelisa, you just keep tanking shit. I'll just keep setting him on fire. Cool. What's he attempting to do? What are you what are you casting, my friend? What are you casting? He's not healing right now, he's just blocking. So stop it. Stop it. Oi. Stop it. <laughs> I'll sneak around and hit you in the butt. Yep. He'll never see us if we if we the longer I wait the more it like hurts him you know basically marked for death so I mean I'm I'm not above I know I talked about the uh, the needs of the people on on the YouTube oh nice shot okay all right Ooh, okay all right all right chill everybody chill uh stop with the with the thingy the lightning not a fan did she just kill him. No. Through the through the through the thing? I think she technically killed him. Adelaisa with full health. Let's go! You're leveling up, girl! Not in a not in a truly in a in a true way. Just in a that is terrifying. Staff of the storm wall. Is it gonna stop the electricity from running through the Okay, nope. Yes! Resistance against fire. Frost and shock. We have another mask. Let's go. Yes. I'm so stoked. All right. Quick save for sure. Um, also, we got a staff. I think this is a staff that... Uh... Let's see here. Staff of storm wall. Sprayed on the ground creates a wall of lightning that does... Wall of lightning that does 50 points of shock damage per second. Holy shit. It's kind of rough. I'm like, I'm getting all these staffs now that uh, I... Are there more baddies over here? <gasps> a word of power. <gasps> the only thing worse than a child. Nope, a, a, a rapist. A child. Uh, Now that I'm getting all of these... sweet staffs now that i've learned how to like fight with sword and 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 bow and i'm comfortable games like here take some staffs have something else to suck at for a while 
And I should be using them, but for now I'm I'm chilling. I'll be using them more often. Alright, I'm not gonna take these swords. Um my inventory isn't that full, but I've really enjoyed not having to just like purge my inventory every three episodes. <laughs> like I cannot tell you how much I've enjoyed it. Uh, if that means I occasionally leave behind a weapon, so be it. If it's unique, I'll try and grab it, obviously, but... Word of power! Which one is it? Kine? Kine's peace, okay. So what is this? This is good, because we have a, uh, a dragon soul. Um, shots. Kine's peace. Soothes wild beasts who lose their desire to fight or flee. Either one. Okay. Sure. Let's charge it. Sure. Uh, I'll be honest. Underwhelming shout, just from pure, like, my, my pure gut reaction is, eh, how often am I going to be using that? Probably not that much. We'll see. Maybe I will. But, I think that's this whole place, whole place done. Um, so, let's get the fuck back out of here and try and go find a, uh, a briar heart. That's what we were doing before all this shit happened. Look at this area. All lit up. All nice and sunny. Sunny-like, somehow. I don't know exactly where the sun comes from, but. Now, how do I get out of here? Most easily. Uh, let's look at the map. That might be the way. Canal. Crips. Straight ahead. All right. It makes sense now. Now that I've had a little bit of time to like spend some time in this uh, dungeon, it makes more sense. It's like got two little offshoots. Each offshoot gets you a skull. That said, apparently this is a dead end. Nope, down. All right. Hey, watch it. Sorry, Adelaisa. Um, sweet. Yep, I should have went up the stairs. <laughs> I should have went up the stairs. Oh, that's all right. Um, I did that, and then I go up. Cool. Yes, there's the entrance. All right. So, with the seven minutes left in this episode, let's see if we can find a Briar Heart. Let's just keep walking around these mountains. See what we can find. Um. All right. So, in this area, I truly don't know. The Lover's Stone seems very interesting to me. Deep Folk Crossing. What do I have to do at Deep Folk Crossing? Isn't there a, 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 ta a, a quest with Deep Folk Crossing? Is it something just like a miscellaneous one? Probably, right? Deep Folk Crossing. There's all these readout ones. If I click that and then hit map. I don't have anything that is marked so far. Okay. All right. Um, let's go towards the lover stone, which I believe is just like kind of pure. Yeah. This direction. Let's do it. See what we learn on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Kind of wish I had. Connie with me here so that we could go riding down the road again. Lover stone up this way. I really have no idea what to be looking for with the Briar Hearts. Which is kind of cool because the the like world of possibility is very large. <laughs> like I really don't know if I'm looking for a city. Like, I'm, I'm kind 
kind of monster? What the fuck is this? Nothing. Okay. Let's see what this is. Maybe one of these? No idea. This looks kind of like one of the old, like... Mmm... Nothing. Interesting. Look at this little... <sighs> look at this little... Oh my god, look at this place, though. Someday. When all this Dragonborn thing is long and long and done with. When I'm when I'm achy with exhaustion from slaying dragons and making love to Lydia. I mean and and uh saving the realm. Um <laughs> Oh shit! What was that? What? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I was gonna say we could settle down here. Look at this nice little lake. This peaceful green place. Holy shit, I just had a heart attack. It caught me on fire, right? Is it a dragon? What's happening? What the fuck? You cannot make this thing up. Is it a Briarheart? I can't see anything. Oh shit, she's getting lit up. Okay. That's cultists, you fuckers. That's my useless companion you just killed. Alright, I'm gonna use my hide advantage if I can. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Why can't I hit them? Hit them. Don't light me on fire, you bitch. I'm gonna light you on fire first. You won't win. I will win. You don't even know. What is that? A flame astronaut. Okay, love it. Love it for me. I love this for me. You bitch. All right, we're quick saving because we have the upper hand now with one of them dead. Adelisa, are you over here? God, these cultists, man. They'll really sneak up on you out of nowhere. There's an urn root somewhere here. Gotta collect that. Super important. You ready for this long distance shot? <sighs> Dang it, I missed. Can you shoot through these? I really thought you could. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Alright, let's put that on. We're gonna heal and then we're gonna go fuck them up. In person. Also, at this point, let's just use it. At this point, if they're just going to try and keep light me on fire, I'll just keep resisting fire. Um, come here. I can, we can do it in person. You want to do it in person? You really? You want to do this in person? We'll do it in person. Come here. Let me jump off this thing. 360 no-scope you. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is my peaceful motherfucking little pasture. All right? No, no, no. Uh-uh. Get out of here. Don't hurt me. Please, stop. Ah! Stop it. Get out of here. Is there one more of you? You want it too? You want the flames? You want the heat? Come here. No one fucks with my little peaceful pasture. Also, Adelaisa, I'm kind of fond of her now. Tree! Fuck you. Get out of here. Fuck you for the heart attack you gave me. Alright, sweet. <laughs> oh. oh, hello. Hi. How you doing? Um. Sweet. You know the other thing we should do? I totally forgot that I was going to do it. Um. We have this new mask now. And, uh, I forgot that people were letting me know in the comments, um, that it's dangerous to just assume that cultists just yelled, ah, <laughs> it's dangerous to assume that people, that stuff will stay, uh, in chests. If you put it there, I'm trying to loot the other cultist. I don't remember where they went. So what we may do is go collect our first mask as well and actually just go put it in our home. Um, the thing is, 
We'll do that next episode. I'm going to run towards this lover stone first so that I can discover it and then go from there. This is a pretty good episode. We killed the... We killed the... Uh, Otar? There's a bear. There's a fucking bear right there. Killed the Otar. Finished Dragonvald. Um, found some cultists. Found found a little peaceful place. Everybody, everybody should now know that the location approximately uh, one thumbnail length northeast west of the Lover's Stone is now my home forever. This is the place that I'm coming back to settle down. Fuck those cultists, bro. In the meantime, we'll go get this Lover's Stone in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm having so much fun playing this game. Even with, with Adelaisa as my companion. Uh, a like or a positive comment goes so very, very far to help me out. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. More Skyrim. Bye-bye.